Hi guys! <laughs> this is our first vlog ever for Blog Nova Scotia. Anyway, I'm the Pomnesian. Um, this is our Christmas haul. So what we have here, um, we'll probably do in three different parts. We're going to start off with our wine list because that's the most important. And uh, we're kind of excited because this is our first video ever that we're going to post on YouTube. These are actual presents that we have bought people. They're not just a list of things that you, we suggest to you. These are presents that we have bought gifts for other people that we are going to give during Christmas. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to show you the perfect drink to be drinking on Christmas morning when you open up your presents. It's called a Cranmosa. I've actually drank a lot of mine and if I'm red then I'm sorry because I've had a couple of cranmosas. Um, it's our twist on the mimosa because we don't make oranges here in Nova Scotia, but we do make cranberries and we make cranberry juice and we make awesome fucking sparkling wine. So forget the crystal. You need to get yourself some of Lacadie Vineyard's vintage cuvee. Um, the bottle runs about I think you can get it on sale for like $24 this time of year. It's made from 100% Nova Scotia grapes. It's super awesome. It's super bubbly. It's amazing. So, like any mimosa, when you or cranmosa, you mix half and half. Um, just fill half your glass with some of your vintage cuvee from Acadie Vineyards and uh, tear a bit of cranberry juice that we also make in Nova Scotia. They're made outside of Lunenburg. They're awesome. I love this cranberry juice. I don't drink anything else. Um, you can buy it at Sobeys. It's around $5. And it makes the perfect Christmas morning drink. We kind of went on a wine tour in the end of November. I don't know why. It's just us. We went to the Wolfville Farmer's Market and then we decided to do a wine tour. Why not? We went to Gaspar Wines and the mus mus muscat. muscat, but uh, I didn't buy any, and it's killing me because we should have bought. It's one of the white wines that I actually like. It's um, it tastes kind of grapefruity. It's called muscat. I want to call it muskrat. I tend to call it the muskrat wine, but um, it's from Gasparo. Um, I'm sure you can buy it in your at the NSLC Nova Scotia wine section. And then we went to Luckett's Vineyards, and unfortunately they were closed for the season. So, I wanted to take my picture in the red foam booth in the middle of the vineyard, but of course, Pete Luckett crushed my dreams, and he closed his... <laughs> and he closed the vineyards. The vineyard is closed for the season. Um, I'm sure they'll open again in the spring, and I'll probably have to go out. But I went all the way to Bedford to Pete's Fruitique, um, right next door. You can buy the Luckett's Vineyards phone 2010 phone box red. It uh, comes in a bottle, looks like this. It's around $25, $20, $25, I'm not really sure. So it's a good priced wine. It's, uh, I haven't tried it because I didn't get to go to the vineyards. And I haven't opened it. And uh, I think I'll have to buy myself a bottle. Next we went to... Mir Murray? Mir Murray. Mir Murray. I can't pronounce it. I just call it Mir Mir. Um, it's also in the valley. They have the best named wines ever. They have the awesomest names for all their wines. There's wines called like Soaring Eagle and Riptide. Um, the one I bought because it's 2012, I got the Rapture um, Merlot which I thought was very appropriate. It's called The Rapture. The Rapture cost me around $20 for, for the bottle, and I also bought the little glass that's kind of dirty and full of my fingerprints. But I bought it for around $7, 7 6 or so. So together it makes it less than $30. So it's a pretty good gift to give somebody. It's got a fruity, ta fruity taste to it. It's not a strong red wine, so could be for your newbies. We also went to Grand Prix. I didn't really enjoy the people at Grand Prix. I felt they were kind of snobby. 
but I seen a wine there and it was called Moulin Rouge, which I totally enjoy. Um, so I bought myself a bottle. It's around $25 for the bottle. I also got a stemmed glass there. Again, it's around $7. It comes Grand Pre bottle. And it makes the perfect gift for under $30, maybe $35. We also bought sparkling wine, carbonated sparkling wine, blueberry wine at uh, Grand Pre as well. We haven't tasted this. This is our what we're opening next. Um, we're going to do our wine sampling as a separate list on the blog. So if you want to check it out, you can see what we thought of this after we've done our videos. So I don't look completely red and totally like Santa Claus's suit. Another good wine to give is uh, from Yoast. It's called Prima Rosa. If you have a lot of people at your Christmas parties that like wine but aren't really accustomed to drinking a whole lot of wine, Primo Rosa is the best. Um, also, Blow Me Down. You can't get Blow Me Down from Blomidon anymore. I, I looked at the farmer's market here. It's not there. Um, we didn't get to actually get there when we went up to the valley on our wine tour. But um, Prima, Yosa, Prima Rosa from Yoast. Is available in all your liquor stores. It's probably like $13 or so. Um, it's super good. You serve it chilled, so even if the people that you're serving it to don't drink wine a whole lot, it's really good wine. And it's really good to just like sit back at night and watch your fire and drink your red wine. Another wine I actually picked up at the Yarmouth Farmer's Market is called Annapolis Highland Vineyards. Um, they're from Annapolis. Uh, Clemensville Road and Bear River actually. Um, this is called Nova Nouveau. It's made with the first wines that they pick off the vines. First grapes. First grapes. The first grapes they pick off the vines, not the first vines they pick off the vines. Um, so it ferments for a very short time. It doesn't have that deep aftertaste that a lot of red wine has. It's very fresh. So again, if you're just serving it at Christmas dinner or whatnot, um, it's a really good wine to have. I've only seen it at the Yarmouth Farmer's Market and the Wolfville Farmer's Market. I haven't seen it at our Farmer's Market in Halifax, or I haven't seen it in the stores either. But I think if you go online, they must have a website. I don't know, if we'll find a link and we'll put it below, hopefully. If not, you're going to have to go to Yarmouth to buy it. Another wine I actually picked up at the Yarmouth Farmer's Market is called Annapolis Highland Vineyards. Um, they're from Annapolis, uh, Clemensville Road and Bear River actually. Um, this is called Nova Nouveau. It's made with the, the first grapes they pick off the vine. So it ferments for a very short time. It doesn't have that deep aftertaste that a lot of red wine has. It's very fresh. So again, if you're just serving it at Christmas dinner or whatnot, um, it's a really good wine to have. I've only seen it at the Yarmouth Farmer's Market and the Wolfville Farmer's Market. I haven't seen it at our Farmer's Market in Halifax, or I haven't seen it in the stores either. But I think if you go online, they must have a website. I don't know, if we'll find a link and we'll put it below, hopefully. If not, you're going to have to go to Yarmouth to buy it. Alright, so that's our wine list. There's plenty of other wines that you can find. Uh, there's a whole section in the Nova Scotia liquor stores that is completely Nova Scotia. You can try some of their ice wines or whatnot. We're not big fans of ice wines. They're kind of a little too sweet for us. We like, most of us here like a little drier red wine. We're used to white white wines or a sparkling wine, especially our Lacadie Vineyards. It's super good. Um, give them a try. Um, if you find we've lift, left out any wines that you prefer, just uh, comment below or leave us a comment on the blog and we'll try them out. So, see you guys later.